Hi, there is a group of college-aged girls who hang out with creepy businessmen who are old enough to be their dads. Everything goes smoothly until one of the girls dies, leaving her shocked friend to figure out what happened. It starts with Kara, a first-year law student. She says that her college costs a lot and that she... Now we went back to what happened last month when she was working as a waitress. They met her beautiful roommate, Shauna. Her friend Kara was told that she didn't need to work hard to make money since she had already done that. Kara was stunned. When Kara's boyfriend Justin came to see her, they were shocked to see her leaving with an old man. They weren't sure if it was her father or someone else. Kara got fired from her job that same night because there were too many people in the restaurant. At university, Professor gave her a very important training grant for free, but Kara was upset because she needed money badly. She is shocked by how many expensive clothes Shauna has while she is staying with her. She invited her to go out with her so they could spend time together, and also because she knew she deserved a good time after being stressed out lately. When they got there, they saw old guys sitting alone with pretty young women. Being here made Kara feel uncomfortable, so Shauna let her do what she wanted. Grant found out that she didn't like being in these settings when he talked to her. After bragging about how great he was, he told her he could help her with anything. She said no and left the place. Because he knew she was driven, he chose to take on this task with her. Later, she went to her family's house. She found out from her mom that the insurance company owed money after they lost the case. Then her father, Barry, who works in car repair, showed up. He promised to give her his brand new car as a present when she finished college. He delighted in her because she consistently made them proud. Grant called her the next day while she was talking with Justin. He had gotten her phone number from Shauna, her friend. He advised her that he was available for help and that she could contact him at any time. Kara was shocked that this man kept wanting to talk to her when she got back to the house. Even though she was mad at Shauna, she told her that the situation was easy and that she should do what the man asked of her. In return, she would get a lot of money. She assured her that she might not see him again if she didn't like it. Kara finds out that Grant is one of the rich people. She agreed to go with him, and the two of them flew to San Francisco on his private plane. They started to get to know each other, and she told him about the $80,000 in insurance debt her family has. That's the same amount she needs to finish college. He said he would give her $5,000 every time they saw each other. He wrote her the check, which surprised her. Next day, she told her friends what happened. When they asked her about the deal, she said she hadn't replied yet because she was still thinking about it. She was just thinking about taking up the offer when the teacher asked her about the training during the class. Even though it was free, she agreed right away because she didn't need the money as long as she got $5,000 for it. When she saw her family the next day, she told them she was still working as a waitress and wouldn't take their money. Thereafter, she met Grant and tried to learn more about him. He told her that what they were doing could work and go on, and in exchange, he would help her family pay off their insurance bills when she found out he wasn't married. He gave her diamond earrings as a gift because this made her like him more. Her harshest conversations were always with Peter, who drove her home. Now she knows Leah, who works the same way as her, and she told her that she was lucky to be with Grant because not all guys are like him. In the end, she met her boyfriend Justin. When he asks her about her earrings, she says she stole them from Shauna. When Justin met Shauna, he learned that she hadn't given Kara her ears. Upon her return, he confronted Kara about being in a relationship with another man, but he was even more shocked to learn that she was seeing an older man, so he broke up with her. Her mind began to think of bad things as she began to feel guilty. When Grant found out that her old car broke down a lot, he gave her a new one and crashed her new car on the way back while thinking about his request. For repairs, she took the car to her dad. What she said was that the car was used, and she got it for a low price. She then spent time with her family, as they celebrated the birthday of her dad. It was her dad's birthday, so she said no when Grant called her and asked her to come to him. She told Shauna that Grant was a bad person when they met, so Shauna told her to focus on her job. She told her that others make money by doing dull tasks that aren't worth the money she makes. It was her wish that she would not give up. Leah asked Kara to lend her money the next day while she went out with a new person. Kara didn't have any cash on hand, so she told Leah she could pawn her earrings and return them later. Although her dad was fixing the car, he discovered that Grant's name was on the contract for it. 
He asked about his daughter at the diner, but found out that she had been fired a while back. At that point, she told Grant she was sorry. He told her he was being nice to her, but she wasn't following through on what they had agreed upon. When this happened, her dad showed up at Grant's place. Since Peter wouldn't let him in, he called his daughter. Granted came out first, then Kara. He learned that the man was wrong and that Grant was a nice person, but he left. When Kara went back to Grant, she told him she was sorry. What she thought was a romantic bond turned out to be work-related. In addition, he threatened to take the car away from her if they saw each other again. The man threw the $100,000 check at her and kicked her out of the house when she asked about it. The professor at the university told her that her training grant had been turned down, but she didn't know why. Like her life was falling apart, she started to think about what she was doing. Because she was broke and her family was in debt, Shauna found out that Grant had left her and what had happened between him and her father. She asked her to go back to him and say sorry. When she met Leah at the restaurant, she was wearing the earrings that she had just changed her mind about. She then talked to him, told him she was sorry, and asked him to forgive her. This was okay with him, and he asked her to bring her friend home with her. They asked Leah. When Kara saw her, she ran away, but he told her that Leah was drunk and tired. She took him to the room to try to tell him that she had died, but Leah was gone, which shocked her. He told her she was tired and arranged for a cab to take her home. Peter then took the body to throw away. After Kara left, she didn't know what happened the next day. Shauna told her that she had not seen Leah, so she started to tell her what had happened the day before. Shauna told her that there was a mistake and that she was tired, so she left the place. Many times later, Grant called her, but she never answered. Infuriated, he didn't know how to get rid of Kara. She was shocked when she saw Peter later. Grant was driving waiting for her. He was nice and gave her a check for $100,000, but she saw Leah's earrings in the car by accident. He was trying to pay her off so she wouldn't say anything. The check was turned down, and she took the earrings without him noticing. He asked her to call him, and she did. Although he didn't mean to kill Leah, Peter and Grant knew that she knew the truth. Also, he didn't want to lose anything because of two college girls. Peter assures him that he will handle the matter and completely get rid of Kara in his own way. She put on the GPS while she was sitting down to let her dad know where she was. Her dad then called her to see how she was doing. Peter then attacked her and took her away. Because Barry thought his daughter was in danger, he began to follow her. Carrera is with Peter, according to Grant. Her dad was after them. At one point, Peter stopped the car and got ready to kill Kara, but she hit him and got away. Although she ran into a nearby building and hid, he caught her. She knew that he was going to inject her with something that would kill her, so that forensic medicine could show that she had killed herself. But before her dad got there, Peter shot them, and they ran away. After that, they started to fight. Kara threw Peter away by hitting him with an iron. Kara answered Grant's call and found out that he was the one who sent him to get rid of her. He knew that his death was coming soon, so he took his money to leave the country. But the cops showed up before he could get on the plane and arrested him. Although they saw each other, they didn't say a word. Once she was done with college, she said that she had learned a lot in the past few years. Also, she says that dreams are important to work toward. What do you think of the show, guys? How did you like it? Please subscribe the channel and I'll see you in the next film.